Hello puppy queers and welcome back to my channel. It is time for some polyamory memes because it's it's been a, min a minute since we've done this. So grab your partners, grab a drink, and then we'll look at some memes together. Are you hydrated? Good, let's go. Being polyamorous for the sex of relationships. No, no. Being polyamorous to bully your partners into accepting compliments and drinking water. I don't know how to say this, but um, this might just be the thing that would convince me I'm polyamorous if I wasn't already like half convinced it's true, but like, this is a very good reason to be polyamorous. That's all I'm saying. My ex, I don't even look at or think about other women. My polyamorous ass, <laughs> be a lot cooler if you did. God, the whole weird monogamous thing of, oh, I don't even want my partner to really look at other people. is so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Like I understand every relationship has like different boundaries and different things that they consider okay or not okay. But looking at other people or like, maybe being randomly attracted to other people because honestly for most people it's probably just gonna happen like they're gonna just like see someone like out in the street or something or like an actor or actress in a movie and just be like okay damn they're attractive but that doesn't like mean anything about you or your relationship what are you doing <laughs> After learning the nuclear family was created to normalize hierarchy, promote consumption, exploit women for free domestic labor, and isolate us so we can't organize or form community. Cool, 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 our country is broken. I'm, again, I'm not saying I wish it was only your country that's broken, because obviously you don't really wish that on any country, but still, um, kind of wish it was only your country, because literally, yeah, it's it's a lot easier to suppress people if you can kind of like stop them from forming communities in the first place. Um, so actually, apart from bullying people into drinking water, this might also be the other reason, you know, because instead of just having like one partner as a support system, you have multiple people. And I still fail to see how that's a bad thing. <laughs> Ten-year-old me, after being indoctrinated to be a straight woman who supports purity culture and capitalism and strives for a monogamous nuclear family. Yeah, I understand. I just don't agree. Well, if you've been brainwashed into it, you do agree until you later realize that it makes no sense and that you don't agree. Because literally, I understand that it is the way it is, I don't understand why it is the way it is, because I very much fail to see the logic of it, because there is no real logic to it. It's just the way we've been raised, really, that makes us think that, oh, that's like the normal way to live. It's weird. It's just weird. <laughs> Me, after doing a CIA level social media stalking mission on my ex, after I suspected him of emotionally cheating when I was flirting with people non-stop and had multiple crushes constantly, stress and clown. Okay, literally, that's, that's like the weirdest thing of mono of like monogamy, right? Is like, feeling the need to stalk your partner because you're so worried about them cheating. But it, it like, it's already weird. But if you do this, <laughs> if you do this, um, you're very much really just stressed and clown, because clownery is, is all it is, you know? <laughs> My brain, when I think about non-monogamy, thinking about the sex, which is like a teeny part of it, sure you might enjoy it, and for honestly, for some people it might be the only reason, but the biggest part of figuring out how to abolish mononormativity, just create a society where everyone is getting their needs met, love is abundant, and non-nuclear family structure creates safer and stronger communities so we can more efficiently tackle dismantling other systems of oppression and getting the land back in the care of indigenous people. Because some cultures, 
just understood it and understand how important society is. Kind of this whole concept of it takes a village for anything. It's just, it's just true. Why would you want to limit something into like tiny units? Well, actually, because for the people in power, that's easier to manage than like a whole group of people. That's like a, a has a strong sense of community. So honestly, let's go. <laughs> when you're listening to another unethical monogamous person try to judge you for your healthy and happy non-monogamous relationships. Really? Really? Because honestly, y'all be out here with, honestly, I've seen too many just unhappy and like barely functional monogamous relationships at this point because someone always be cheating or just kind of using their partner for whatever if it is like just like emotionally using them or be like oh yeah i don't really like my partner but the sex is good so or like if you break up people always ask well was the sex at least good like dude that is that is literally not the sole point of a relationship you know like anyways but listen i've seen too many non-monogamous relationships just not work that y'all coming for polyamory is just it's just it's disgusting but it also just makes no sense you know <laughs> okay so far the overwhelming response to my polyamory is but what if you want kids um because then they can have multiple adults to help guide them through life and take on the responsibilities and again, I fail to see the issue with that, because honestly, a kid only having their two parents as a person they can trust or rely on seems ridiculous. Because honestly, even in Western cultures, historically, you at least also like had your grandparents and like maybe even like your, your sisters or brothers or something like living on the same farm or whatever. And it was sort of a community right it wasn't just two parents and their kids it was always like more people and the whole nuclear family is pretty recent and it's so rubbish it's just rubbish honestly why wouldn't you want your kids to be well taken care of and sharing that responsibility just makes sense because it does take a lot of work to properly raise kids to raise them healthy and to have all their needs needs met why wouldn't you want to share it? Like, have y'all seen Full House? Have y'all seen Full House? I know it's not a, like, thing about polyamory. Like, it's not about that. But still, you had the dad. And then you had his two friends. Well, his uncle. Well, not his uncle. The kid's uncle and his best friend living with him. To help raise the kids. Same principle. Just looks a bit different, you know? <laughs> the idea of having another loving partner. Yes, dating. Understandable, understandable. Because the idea of just like having like a lot of people that you love spending time with, uh, like whatever that right relationship even looks like, is amazing. Like having, having like dreams about that is amazing. But actually like getting to know people and like opening up to new people and like finding new people you actually vibe with, that's just hard. You know, that's just, it's just hard, man. <laughs> Dog, stop calling me. Your girl's not a microp. <laughs> it's not my night. <laughs> I love it when queer people in general just like take memes that were originally kind of, kind of weird and gross and like the same with like homophobic memes or something and just like run with it and make it funny because the meme itself isn't actually funny. But the whole response of, yeah, no, it's it's not my night, dude. I don't, I don't know. I thought you had her. It's just funny to me. <laughs> Good idea. Marry a blacksmith so you can get free thoughts whenever. Um, I have a better idea. Become a miner and then marry a blacksmith so he can have the required materials for you to get free thoughts whenever. Honestly, just make a harem and marry a full production chain. <laughs> Monopolygamy. We're not creating a mo monopoly on things, but we're just polyamorous with the goal of creating free thoughts and other cool things. That's just cool. 
But again, it's not just like doing production chains. You can just like do that with everything. Like it's always cool if you know people who, I don't know, can cut hair or who can sew or who can garden. And honestly, if you have like a little community and you have like people who each can do their own thing, because no, and like no one can do everything, right? So it just makes so much more sense, come on. <laughs> Polyamory, shared access to every streaming service in existence. Monogamy just being blinded. Again, not, not like no one can do everything and no one can have all streaming services because stuff's expensive. So yes, again, another example of, it just makes so much more sense. You know, it just makes sense. Like, honestly, if you do this with like a friend group, that's also cool, obviously. I'm just a big fan of like having a community and not being so limited in your idea about relationships, I guess, but still streaming services. <laughs> I'm non-monogamous, mostly because my boyfriend is so hot that I'm like, who am I to deny the world their hotness? <laughs> I... I can't come for it. Um, I can't come for it. It's... That's honestly kind of fair. Like, who are you to look at another person and be like, just, no, I'm gonna keep you all to myself, in general. And if this is your reason for it, that's also kind of... That's... It's funny, but it's also fair. <laughs> okay, boundaries is my way of saying I love you, but this doesn't make me feel good. I want to feel good with you because I love you. As someone who's a lover, I had to unlearn the idea that boundaries were a form of punishment. Being able to assert your limits with someone you adore is actually a powerful and necessary display of love. My way of saying I want to love you for a long time, but not like this. Exactly, because if you don't, establish your boundaries or if you don't communicate them that relationship really can't last because the other person is gonna like keep pushing those boundaries because they probably don't know they exist because you never communicated them in any way so they're just gonna keep pushing them or like stepping across them and the relationship is gonna end even though you love them but it just doesn't work so talking about these kinds of things it's just incredibly important and i feel like if you have relationships with multiple people it probably just becomes even more important, right? <laughs> they don't know I'm thinking about how this so easily could be non issue with ENM or polyamory, and I'm not gonna say anything because I know they're like mono, but come on. I realized I'm bi and I wanna have sex with women, but I'm already in a long term relationship with someone I love. I'm falling in love with my friend, so this is gonna be so awkward breaking it off with my current hookups. I have a crush on both of these people. How do I choose? literally someone was like this is my experience of being at a party and like everyone being like sort of half drunk and saying all these things because literally this it's so bad like it always seemed weird to me when people said these things and like especially the whole oh i'm like i have a crush on two people like i don't know who to choose people are like well choose the second one because if you loved the first one enough you wouldn't have gotten a second crush like that is literally not how this works this is literally not how this works. I mean, it is if you try to enforce it that way, but that's kind of not how it works. Um, and again, like the whole self-discovery thing, like if you realize you're by kind of late in life and you're like already in a happy relationship and you want to experiment with the same gender, that still doesn't mean you love your partner any less because you still love them and you still want to spend your life with them, obviously. But does that really mean you have to limit this other part of yourself? Like, that just seems weird, you know? <laughs> I'm also polyamorous. Your partners know that, right? They know that, right? Because if they don't, that is not polyamory. That's just cheating. Because if you're polyamorous, but your partners are monogamous, or they don't know you're polyamorous, maybe, maybe they'd be open to it, but if you don't talk about it, that's just cheating, because they don't know about your other partners. <laughs> I'm so jealous and territorial, oh my god, I could never do that. Healthy polycule. Uh, good, then don't. Yeah, fair. Fair. Literally, no one's saying, you have to. 
like even I, I'm just saying monogamy makes no sense in my eyes. It's so weird to me. It it literally just I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. I don't understand it. But I'm not going around being like everyone has to be polyamorous now just because I don't understand it. Like if you really don't want to because whatever your reasons are, because literally I don't care, there it's your life. But just like the idea of you trying to be like, okay, because I don't want it, I can't picture myself in that scenario, I'm gonna call it weird. That's where I have the issue, you know? <laughs> when your partners get pizza without you, poly tears. Fair. Honestly, this is like healthy jealousy of like being jealous your partner's got like delicious pizza or something without you. Because if, if it's your favorite food and they get it without you, without at least like saving some for you, I could under I like I can understand that kind of jealousy, right? <laughs> if mononormativity wasn't a thing, I love you. So do I. Hmm. No problem. <laughs> I. How many of the polyamorous people watching didn't know they were polyamorous when these movies came first came out or the books first came out, and were just like reading it or watching it, be like, what? What's the issue? Like. Why do you have to choose? And then later realize that you should have known earlier. How many? <laughs> I tell my crush I like him. He tells me he likes me back. He tells me he can't do poly and that we shouldn't talk anymore. He tells me he can't do poly and we shouldn't talk anymore? Oh, it's just sad. That's... it's so sad. Like, again, it's just understandable, like, not everyone has to want a certain thing or has to want polyamory or be ready for it but honestly it's still sad i'm sorry i'm really sorry <laughs> spotted at my local grocery store accidental polyamory dish towel edition better together <laughs> the bacon looks so happy like they all look happy but the bacon looks like one of those tubey car like carousels like the the, the inflatable tube things that's what this bacon looks like and I'm here for it. <laughs> okay, um, I have a trade offer. I receive more love. You receive more love. That's kind of precisely why I fail to see the downside. Because you get your needs met, I get my needs met. We all receive a whole lot of love and cuddles and kisses. What what's the downside? What like where's where's the downside? Um, a kid at soft play asked about our family, and I told him my toddler had two moms. She immediately said, why not three? And honestly, it's a great question. We'll talk to my wife about it tonight. <laughs> In today's installment of kids don't give a shit about anything. They're just like, hmm, I love my mom, so having two moms must be pretty cool, but why not three? Like, what's better than two, three? This kid gets it. It has no idea what's going on, probably, but they get it. <laughs> Me. Intentionally creating situations where my girlfriend and my friends with benefits spend time alone. <laughs> I know she fancies them. Sneaky. Very sneaky. And I'm here for it, because... Why wouldn't she be supportive of it? Like, they probably like already get along. And just like, wait, listen. That works. So why not? I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, imagine how life would be if your whole polycule lived on the same block. Yes. Honestly, like in general, like living in the, on the same block or like very close to, like your close friends is already cool. But also like, yes. Just yes. It would be amazing. If you're like me and you often need time alone, it's even better because then you're just like, okay, listen, I'm kind of, I'm like overwhelmed and I just need like a long time. You can just go home. But then if you feel like socializing again, if you like want to see them, you can just like walk two minutes and be there. Like it's just practical. <laughs> when the whole polycule gets together to roast your share partner. <laughs> listen, it comes from a place of love, okay? We don't really bully each other, we just roast each other, but it's coming from a place of love, so it's just funny. 
and it's cute, and you probably just take turns on it, and just like constantly roast each other, so it's fine, you know? <laughs> but I realized, having you in Poe's life doesn't mean less for me, it just means more for Poe. Listen. I'm so glad I found this meme, because I watched all three Kung Fu Panda movies recently, and I saw the scene, and I immediately went, yes. Polyamory. In a way, like, they're not dating, but still kind of the shat responsibility, or like, the same love for the same person. It's just amazing, and I'm here for it, because... Why isn't is is the maker of Kung Fu Panda polyamorous, or the writer? I'm curious. <laughs> when someone says you're not a real man if you let your partner date other people and you're destroying masculinity, <laughs> I'm the god of destruction. Because why why? If you've been here any amount of time, you know how how much I don't get gender roles, or why we're enforcing them. Like, if you're a man, and you're like, stereotypically masculine, good for you. Like, I, I really, I don't care. I don't care. But then again, trying to push on other people and be like, okay, you're a man, but you're not, like, masculine enough, so I'm gonna, like, shame you for it, or tell you you should man up, or, like, stop doing things because they're feminine. That's weird. So, this reaction is just fair. <laughs> Okay, something being the big spoon is the best. Something being the little spoon is the best. I think the middle spoon is the best. Wait, I was wrong. Lo I'm gonna die. It's so hard. Literally would be me. I'm already constantly too warm. And cuddling with one person already gets really warm. But being sandwiched between two people, I would die. I would literally just die. I would just burn up and dry out within like two minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> Close-minded people be like, ethical non-monogamy? No. Unethical monogamy? Yes. Why? Again, just why? Why y'all like this? <laughs> I know y'all were raised into monogamy, really, but why? Why? Being a lesbian, okay, whose hair is in my mouth? Being a poly lesbian, whose hair is in my mouth? Being a poly lesbian with cats, whose hair is in my mouth? Um, I mean, the amount of hair I have in my mouth, or anywhere really, drastically declined recently, you know? Uh, I used to have long hair, I cut it off like a month ago or something, I'm still- I'm still gonna find long hair everywhere. Like, I put on clothes I haven't worn in a while. I'm just like, wait, what? why is there a hair? But having multiple people, especially with long hair, and animals with fur, you're gonna have- you're just- you're just gonna have to get used to having hair everywhere, you know? <laughs> what monogamous people say about polyamory, they just can't stay faithful. What polyamorous people say about monogamy, they just can't stay faithful. And only one of these people are right. Because, like, one of these groups of people, alright, because literally, of course they're probably also gonna be polyamorous people who cheat. Because, of course, also, like, polyamorous relationships, of course, also have boundaries. And if you cross those boundaries, that might still be considered cheating. But again, with the level or with the amount of monogamous people who constantly cheat, and just normalize it so much and just be like, oh, it's all men cheat, honey. You know, is, is like, one of y'all, one of these groups of people is right, and the other should literally just shut up. Just p please. <laughs> Help, I love both of them. I just, I can't choose. Uh, the classic love triangle. Good luck. Um, we've decided to all date each other. Oh, shit. Why, oh, shit? This is a good solution. Also, most love triangles aren't actual triangles, they're more like V's, you know? But this, this is a triangle. <laughs> okay, I'm a pansexual poly cis man, but I'm not gonna shove it down anyone's throat. Unless you ask respectfully. 
because consent is key. <laughs> Don't let your little girlfriend stop us from being in love, because the love you have for her is unique and beautiful, and I respect and honor it. And the love we have would be beautiful in a different way, and you could have fulfilling and meaningful relationships with both of us. Because the love you feel for one person does not detract from the love you feel for another, since love is an endless resource and we're capable of so much more connection than we realize. Which is just... I can't have this whole thing as a caption to a video. Because it's too long, but I... I would if I could, okay? Because that's literally... That's literally just true, and that's the thing people don't get about polyamory. That is like, well, but... If I love you, I want you to only love me, and that's still weird to me. Okay, even though I can't have this whole thing as a title, I still think that's a very nice one to end this video on, because it's just such a beautiful summary of polyamory and what it actually means, because it isn't just, oh, hey, I want to sleep around and that's why I do it, because honestly, if that is the reason you do it, and your partners just know about it, they're just like, yeah, no, sure, go off. That's also fair. Like, I'm not here. Um, like, I, you're, you're not gonna catch me as not shaming anyone. Because I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Whatever your reasons are, honestly, as long as you're honest about it and communicate it honestly with your partners, why would I have an issue, you know? Because if you don't, um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna think you're a piece of shit, you know? Like, because if you go around lying to your partners or cheating on them, that's rubbish. Don't do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you finished your drink. If not, go drink it now. And I'll be back in three days with my next video.